All right, everyone, so I'm at my other desk here and we're gonna do the unboxing of the Asus ROG Ally. So this is the shipping box I got from Best Buy. I got it a day early. I hear a few people got it even earlier, which is great. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the package open. I've got my little baby knife to get into it here. So let's see, how's it come? So we've got nice bubble type wrap. And then we've got the ally. We're just gonna go ahead and move this out of the way here. And we're gonna go straight into the ROG Ally unboxing. So I've also got a two terabyte hard drive I'm gonna be installing today. And I've got USB-C drive that I used in the first step to get windows and the drivers loaded onto. So let's see here. Looks like we've got a little plastic wrap on here. Go ahead and jump into that first. Looks like a nice premium design. The box is nice. I'm assuming it's uh, packaged well too. Make sure it doesn't have any type of issues. It does look like there's some ACES stickers on the box on the sides here to get into it. So you can cut those off or, let's see, I don't know if they'll come off well with fingernails or not. Well, it looks like I'm just going to cut them because they're not the easiest to pull off. Here we go. All right. Smells like new electronics. One of my favorite smells. Looks like it is wrapped in plastic. And let's just look at the device first. So it says to plug it in and then power it on basically. Pretty standard stuff. Let's see about pulling off uh, this. Wraps right around the thumbsticks and everything here. I like to try and keep things intact if I can. All right, so let's see. The back of this is smooth. Got a little bit grip over here, which is good. I love that uh, little rainbow look here. This is light. This is very light compared to my Steam Deck. Um, I mean, I'll still probably use both of them, but definitely uh, pretty nice there. So, let's see what else is in the box here. Got our power brick. Really a brick. I've had a few Asus laptops and it's like the same brick that comes with them. Over here we've got, let's see, some manuals probably, warranty information, manuals. Let's see if there's anything really cool in here. And that's just a yeah, pretty much just a manual, nothing special there. Okay, so of course, I don't use those things, I just go right into it. I don't think I'll really need the manual to start off, so I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff back in here. And uh, here we go, we'll just move that box over. Well, wow. let me grab the top here. Oh, actually has a little picture here showing you some stuff to do. Oh, is it like a little plastic stand it looks like. All right, let's see if we can get that out without ripping anything. It's almost like a plasticky cardboard feel, but uh, 
looks like it's meant to hold it, so let's give it a try. Put that back down and go ahead and put that top back on. We can move that off the desk for now. Let's see, so kind of gives us a nice little stand here. Of course, not perfect for where the camera is positioned for right now, but you get the idea. It's nice to work on. So um, we are going to try and turn it on and check it out. It does say to put the power in there, so to be fair. Um, let me go ahead and run this real quick and we'll give it power. If it's anything like the Steam Deck, it probably has to be plugged in to be powered on because it's probably in some type of mode that requires that. over here and plug it in, bring that cable over here, this little studio area I have is lacking in space, so, probably have to hold it I'm guessing. Oh, look at that. These lights I have are pretty bright, but hopefully you can see the RGB lighting up around the thumbsticks. Um, just based off what I can see on the camera, I think it actually looks better in person than it does on the camera. I'll bring that up a little bit just so you can kind of see the light there. It's got a nice ring of light, um, much more vibrant probably in real life. So. That's really nice, I like the look of that. This device definitely feels good, it feels premium. Um, so, we'll let it boot up here and see what it does. Now, I'll probably boot it up just to check it out, um, but the goal is to take this thing apart, throw in a new hard drive, and uh, get it going. It comes with a 512 gig hard drive, which is great, but I went ahead and got the two terabyte lined up. I think I'm gonna use this device a lot for AAA titles. Um, really looking forward to playing some Diablo 4 on it, being able to spend some time with the family, watching TV and playing games instead of stuck in my office. So, uh, so I think this will be perfect for that. The Steam Deck is awesome. I use it a lot, uh, but this device should handle titles like that and probably like Call of Duty, things like that, much better. And I've, in fact, I think I've already seen some videos handling those games. I might make a few myself. So standard stuff, loading through Windows. This is where some people hate the fact this device has Windows. Uh, obviously Steam Deck uh, seems to be a little bit uh, um, nicer with their Steam OS, but if you're used to Windows, it's not that big of a deal. It's just basically a miniature Windows machine. So it looks like uh, the screen, it's hard to tell much about it yet because it's mostly been uh, black screen, but uh, it looks to be pretty good. So we'll give it a moment here. If I need to, I might just fast forward through the video um, instead of just making you wait here for minutes while this thing gets ready to go. All right, so yeah, that definitely took a few minutes as it said, so. Device is optimized for touch. No info on that there. Restoring apps from your last PC. Uh, didn't really need it to do that, but let's see. So it starts off by telling us to launch Armory Crate. Pretty standard stuff here. So it starts you off with uh, a game, Steam and Xbox. I'm sure you can set up all the other shortcuts. Let's see, how do we get out of this? Let's list view. There's our command center. Okay, so that brings it up and takes it away there. So it looks like um, 
Let's see what my Asus is, because this is one of the things I chose not to download. So, oh, we'll check that one out later. Let's see, so this moves all right on the screen. Obviously, getting to little uh, touch bars. I'll probably put another browser on here. So it's like a right click. Yeah. Okay, so this right stick, clicking that in is like your right click on desktop. So, all right, so this seems fairly functional. Obviously, our time is off there. It's not 4.23 a.m. where I am. Um, but, all right, so we're going to shut this down. We're going to pop it open and load everything up uh, with the new hard drive. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit shut down here. I wonder if there's an easy shut down button on here because it's a little bit of pain to get to this one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this shut down now, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the new hard drive to it, but that will be covered in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe.